Okay? Yeah. You put one finger in the nose, other finger in the ass. You switch it around. If you cannot smell shit, you've got COVID. <laughs> Afternoon. <laughs> you can say that again. You walk very slowly because it's been a very long January. We're at the 65th day of January. This is when the paychecks are finished, when things are getting too long, where the ice is starting to come through. Continuing with the Poiki series, we thought we're gonna we're gonna show you what you cook in January. But before we do, I want to show you something, cowboy. Let me just let me just get my my walking right here. The big nasty is still around. We thought after 21 and 19 and 20, guess it's still around. Now you've got to be juiced. Are you juiced? Not allowed to say. We don't want to know. Not allowed to say. Not allowed to say. You have to get juiced. Not once. Not twice. Not twice. Not three times. You have to get juiced until you're juiced enough. Anyway, and then you have to have uh, the papiere. And you have to show you your papers. No, not that one. I still have that one from last year. But the reality is, if you're living like the Cowboys, and we're enjoying your life anyway. But if you thought the world was not in dire straits, let me show you this. This is ground beef. You know, the stuff the cows people don't necessarily bother with and they sell as the cheapest meat. Look here, $16.48 a kilo. You're getting that, cowboy? Mm -hmm. This is the cheapest the cowboys can do in January. That's what it costs. So if you think the world is still okay, <laughs> you got another thing coming. Anyway, don't fear. Cowboys got consumer advice for you. Um, you need to keep up. I'm not going to explain the whole thing. You want to see how I do it, cowboy? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Can yeah. we do that? You want to see how I do it? All right. We've had some consumer criticisms. I just want to put it on record. We had consumer criticisms. They're saying that we're not very sanitary as cowboys because we drink out of the bottle and then we put it in the food. It's quality control. It's a very highly technical term. Mm -hmm. So for the record, we're allowed to drink in our videos. We're allowed to use our wine in our food. And so are you. So enjoy it with the cowboys. You want to sip your cowboy? I'm not going to put this in because this is not a January meal. This is still hangover from Christmas. Let's show you what you do in January. Time to fire up. So here's the recipe. Whatever ground beef you've got left or can afford, we'll brown the beef, we'll make a roux, and we're gonna add milk to the roux. You know what I forgot? Butter. Will you go get the butter? Okay. Yeah? <laughs> beef, butter, cornstarch, because we're gluten intolerant, milk, spices. That's the deal. Keep up, I'll show you how we do that. Step one, nice boy geek, get it hot. Today we're on the gas because we ran out of charcoal money. The charcoal money is also gone. So it's only poiki gas today and uh, we're gonna brown our beef. Cowboy, what does it mean to brown the, the beef? To brown the beef. To You're brown the... Caramelizing the collagen. Yeah. the fat. No, 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 no. You cook until the water's gone. Yeah. You cook until the water's gone. Or until it's brown. Well, sometimes you, with, with uh, grated beef and yeah, you just you cook until it's starting to get a little bit of color. You can see the water is coming out. It's looking a little gray there, cowboy. Yeah, be patient. It's coming. Mince and milk. That's really the point of this whole exercise. But with a bit of creativity, you can make a meal for a king. So, it's a very simple thing. You'll see a sign is up here. It says, I drink, I, I think, and I cook. And that's really the point. The reason why I cook people say, why do you cook? Is because it's my happy place. It's because when you're here and you're outdoors and you see the animals and you smell the food and you hang out with the people you love, that's the whole point of cooking. Honestly, that's the whole point. That's why if I can do this for a living every day, all day, and uh, make money out of that, I think we, we got an idea for that, didn't we? Mm -hmm. HQ? <laughs> It's called Two Cowboys HQ. Yeah. 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 We just have to get the world to... To... Open so up. We just have to get the world to open up so that we can actually get you over. Contrary to popular belief, we don't drink the wine that we put into our food. When we yeah, I just... Again, I, I want to make it very clear for... Uh, you can bleep this one out. For the dumbass out there that went to report us to 
Interior health for food safety violations. It's a bit of we don't drink the wine that we put in our food. If you want us to shut down, you're dumbass. Because we do adhere to all food safety protocols when we serve you the food. It's not as good because, I mean, once we put some effort into wine, it's always better than when we don't. Anyway, I'm digressing. Here's the keys to browning mincemeat in a poiki. Leave the daxel off. This is the daxel. Leave the lid. Lid. Don't put the lid on because you want the steam to escape. And medium heat. You can do high heat, but you're going to be dancing when you do high heat. And cook all the water off. It's juices, water. It's not blood. It's not blood. It's just juices. All the juices go. See the steamy things? It's been steaming up the camera. Cowboy, watch out. Don't steam up the camera again. This is all the waters you want to get off because once you're done with the water you can see there's no more water in here now it's starting to burn no brown Good. how much do you reckon that is cowboy okay. you're, keep, you're keeping up all right it's about i don't know a good chunk of butter that's the one and then with the butter i think i put in too much butter there by the way a good chunk of, of cocaine. It's about four tablespoons of cornstarch with the butter. Why do we the cowboys use the cornstarch? Is because cowboys are gluten intolerant. We got some glycophosphates, Monsantos, and all the other crap in us. If you live in a country where they've got healthy flowers, that's what you put in here. But if you live in this place where we are, where we can only get the glycophosphate version, this is what we use. Is the cornstarch version, the millis. And that's our version of January Roux. It's got a bit more punch in it anyway. Okay. Cowboy. And putting in back our browned January mints that costed us our last paycheck. All we need to do now is give it some flavor. Okay. SP. We're ready for the for the stale toast we've got left after Christmas. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, did you know that you can eat spruce needles? No. No. So, if you are from this part of the world, spruce needles is your vitamin C you're getting during the winter, so you don't end up with scurvy. Healthy, January meal, get the moustache over to the other side and then tuck into you tuck into your guy. <laughs> it's as best as it's gonna get. Welcome to 2022, January. Good luck. Stick around. We're gonna do more. Oh, come on, this is actually good. This is good old comfort food. It's not a sloppy joe. It is just whatever's left of the 65th day of January when you got nothing. And when everything's taken away from you, you cannot travel, you can't juice enough, you can't have enough papers. It's just one of those times in the world where you need to make something out of nothing. Make a poiki. Tuppy, you want your, your, your bite?